Thank you for joining us on the newsroom and these are headlines making the rounds. Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has taken a significant step in its investigation by seizing the travel document of Beta Edu, the suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, alongside her predecessor, Sadia Uma Farouk. This action by the Anti Graft Agency, a part of the economic Conditions set for granting administrative bail to the individuals involved with their travel papers held by the Commission until the investigation reaches its conclusion. In a related matter, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arranged the former Minister of Power and Steel, Olu Agunloye, before Justice Donato Sokorowo of the Federal High Court over allegations of fraud. Agunloye was brought before the court on Wednesday, where he pleaded not guilty to the charges read against him. The judge ordered that he be remanded in Kuja Correctional Center, pending when the bail will be granted. And at least 20 individuals were killed in a boat accident in Adoni Waterways in Adoni local government area of River State. This was revealed in a statement issued early Wednesday by the executive chairman of Adoni local government, Eratus Awotu. The terrible incident, which occurred on Tuesday night, is said to have involved two passenger boats on their way to Boni, a nearby Acosta Kansu district. And in Plateau State, the police says they have arrested three suspected members of a gun running syndicate in connection with the 24th, 24th of December attack on some communities in Plateau. The spokesperson of Nigeria Police Force, Olumo Dejobi, announced the arrest at a media briefing in Abuja. Over 100 people were killed in a Christmas Eve attack in three local government areas of Plateau. And the federal government has unveiled plans to formalize 1 million businesses across Nigeria at a discounted rate, as announced by Vice President Kashim Shatima during the launch of the expanded National MSME Clinic in Makodi, Benue State. This initiative aimed at empowering micro, small and medium enterprises reflects the government's commitment to fostering economic growth and job creation. On the global scene, Japan has tightened its air traffic control protocols after a ferry collision at Tokyo's main airport in which five people died but hundreds escaped to safety, the government said on Wednesday. The emergency safety measures were announced by the transport ministry after a Japan airline passenger jet crashed into a Coast Guard aircraft on a runway at Aneda Airport on January the 2nd. All 379 passengers and crew on the airline were swiftly evacuated, but five of the six crew died on the smaller plane, which was heading to deliver supplies to an earthquake heat region. And in sports, the management of Kano Pillar Football Club has appealed to the Nigerian Professional Football League Disciplinary Committee to reconsider its stance on the 12 million naira fine imposed on the team over alleged misconduct. This is contained in a statement issued by the secretary of the club, Sani Ibrahim, on Tuesday in Kano. The club management also promised that additional steps will be taken collectively by the leadership of the fan club to ensure the team maintain its prestige position among other clubs in the country. And that's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.